ಶ್ರೀಮಾನ್ ವೆಂಕಟನಾಥಾರ್ಯ ಕವಿತಾರ್ಚಿಕೇಸರಿ ವೇದಾಂತಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಬದ್ಯೋಮೇ ಸನ್ನಿಧತ್ತಾಂ ಸದಾ ಹೃದಯ ಗುರುಭ್ಯಸ್ತದ್ಗುರುಭ್ಯ ನಮೋ ವಾಕಮಧೀಮಹೆ ವೃಣೀಮಹೆ ಚ ತತ್ರೋ ದಂಪತಿ ಜಗತಾಂಪತಿ ಜ್ಞಾನಂದಮಯ ದೇವ ನಿರ್ಮಲಸ್ಫಟಿಕಾಕೃತಿ ಆಧಾರ ಸರ್ವಿದ್ಯಾಮಯ ಗ್ರೀವೋಪಾಸ್ಮೆ ವಂದೇ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀಹಯ ಗ್ರೀವಂ ಪುರೋ ಮೇ ಮಾರ್ಗದರ್ಶಕ ಏನಾಪಕ್ವಮತಿರ್ನೂನ್ ಕಿಂಚಿದ್ಭೂತ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ ಅಚ್ಯುತ ಸಂಪ್ರದಾಯನ್ ಮಾಂ ಕ್ಷುತ ಮುಕುಂದ ಮೇ ಗುರೋ ಅರಕ್ಷದನುಕಂಪಾತೆ ಪದಮನುಸರಾಮ್ಯಹಂ ಪದ್ಮನಾಭ ಗುರು ವಂದೇ ಸದಾಚಾರ್ಯಂ ಅಹಂ ಸದಾ ಕುಲೀನಂಧಿ ಸುಶೀಲಾದಿ ವಿಗ್ರಹಂ ಶುದ್ಧ ವೈದಿಕ ವೇದಾಂತಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಣ ಮುನೀಂದ್ರಕೃಪಾತ್ಮಬೋಧಂ ತತ್ಪಾದಯುಗ್ಮಸರಸೀರ್ಘಭಂಗರಾಜಂ ತ್ರಯ್ಯಂತಯುಗ್ಮಕೃತಭೂರಿವರಿಶ್ರಮಂ ತಂ ಶ್ರೀರಂಗಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಣ ಮುನಿ ಶರಣ ಪ್ರಪದ್ಯೆ ಶ್ರೀಮತ್ವೇದಾಂತರಾಮಜೇತಿ ಕೃಪಯಾ ರಂಗಿಣಿನ್ಯಸ್ತಾರಂ ತತ್ಸಂ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ತಗಮಾನ್ ತದ್ವಿತಯ ಮನಗನ್ನ ಶಿಷ್ಟತಃ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಗ್ರಿಯ ಶ್ರೇಷ್ಠ ಶ್ರೀರಂಗರಾಮಜ ಮುನಿಕರುಣಾಲಬ್ಧಮೋಕ್ಷಾಶ್ರಮಂ ತಂ ಸತ್ವಸ್ಥಂ ಶ್ರೀವರಾಹಂ ಯತಿವರ ಮನಘಂ ದೇಶಿಕಂ ಸಂಶಯಿ ನಮಃ ಭಾಯ ತ್ವೇಷತ್ವೇ ಸ್ಥಿರಧಿಯ ತ್ವತ್ಪ್ರಾಪ್ತೇಕ ಪ್ರಯೋಜನ ನಿಷಿದ್ಧ ಕಾಮ್ಯರಹಿತ ಕುರು ಮಾಂ ನಿತ್ಯ ಕಿಂಕರ ತ್ವೇಷತ್ವೇ ಸ್ಥಿರಧಿಯ ತ್ವತ್ಪ್ರಾಪ್ತೇಕ ಪ್ರಯೋಜನ ನಿಷಿದ್ಧ ಕಾಮ್ಯರಹಿತ ಕುರು ಮಾಂ ನಿತ್ಯ ಕಿಂಕರ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಫಿಫ್ತ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀ ನ್ಯಾಸದಶಕ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಬೀನ್ ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಟ್ ದಿ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ವರ್ಸಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀ ನ್ಯಾಸದಶಕ ಯ ಹಿಮ್ on the subject of prapatti composed by swami vedanta deshika you have seen the meanings of first four verses ending with shriman abhishta varada so there is somebody who has attained the right jnana samya jnana as we say in sanskritam he has known about his swarupa approached an acharya performed the prapatti so given up the responsibility now he is no longer he thinks he himself to be no longer responsible for procuring or securing liberation moksha and he has also sought etat deha vasane mam tatpadam prapayasvayam the timing the timing of liberation is at the end of this janma or birth so what does that person do now after prapatti how should he lead his life that's a big question like a million dollar question they say in english it's a million dollar question now so for that for that purpose to guide a prapanna swami deshika has composed this verse kuru kuru if you look at the verse the word kuru appears in the middle of the second line kuru means do make make what mam kuru mam kuru means make me mam kuru means make me what do what do you have to make me nitya kinkaram kuru nitya kinkaraha kinkaraha means a person who does renders service kinkaram kuru mam kinkaram kuru make me a performer of kankariya to you but what kind of a kinkara nitya kinkara nitya kinkara means i should only be doing kankariya to you nothing else i should do kankariya only to you only i should only do so you can put the only at as many places but the meaning is that we should not do anything else that's the ideal situation but let us not forget about our our own struggles in this uh, kali yuga post uh, prapati also so it, uh, it should not uh, uh, create a confusion that we should leave everything and do only kankaryam that has to happen gradually it's a transition which has to happen naturally we cannot force so we just have to reduce keep on reducing our other activities to such an extent that we get more and more time for kankaryam and the more faith we have upon bhagavan and acharyas naturally there will be a transition happening where we will do only kankaryam 
but it cannot happen on day one but to have such a thought in our mind this verse is going to help us mam nitya kinkaram kuru make me an eternal kankariya para as we say in sanskritam i need to render kankariya to your divine feet and also to your bhagavatas eternally always but when we do kankariya often we make mistakes and when we make mistakes it becomes an apachara you have to be very careful upachara means service apachara means this service or a wrong service the nature of human beings is that to make mistakes what if i do kankariya to you and then i make i keep on making mistakes and that too i make those uh, mistakes by by doing prohibited activities and also some activities in my own interest so these two could be a bigger uh, reason to make mistakes i mean indulging or involving in those activities that are done that are done for one's own self self motive and to fulfill one's own motive one's own motive and also which are prohibited by the shastras so we need to put our prayers in the right way because we get what we ask for don't we so nishidha kamya rahitam nitya kinkaram kuru rahitam rahita means without without doing without doing what kamya kamya means those activities which give some fruit and for the sake of those fruits we are doing those activities not because it is ordained in the shastras but there is a karma and the the shastra says if you do this karma you can get this anubhava this sukha you can get so naturally some people who are keen to experience that sukha they may perform that karma it's called as a kamya karma i want to become indra now it is not ordained by the shastra that each and everyone should become indra but somebody may look at some aspect of the vedas okay if i do this karma if i do this yajna i can become indra so they embark upon it what happens is this embarking is a deterrent is an impediment to render nitya karma nitya kankariya to bhagavan therefore let me be without that let me be free from any kamya karma also nishidha karma without our own knowledge we may be involved in doing some activities which are prohibited by shastras so even that would make us or make our kankariya uh, with, with a blemish or with a mark so therefore we, we should request bhagavan in this way that you make me an eternal kankariya para of yourself without me involving in prohibited and desire based activities but why should we do kankariya now what is the end what is the purpose of doing kankariya are we going to get something by rendering this nitya kankariya nitya kankariya for which the other words they give an answer tvat praptyeka prayojanam tvat prapti means your anubhava eka prayojanam eka prayojanam means that's the only purpose behind me rendering kaitarya that i should experience you be it in archavatara be be, be yourself in archavatara or vibhavatara or para vyuha wherever you are panchrat ragama it says that bhagavan exists exists at five levels <coughs> i mean she can exist at different levels but the shastra for our meditation purposes and for our anubhava purposes bhagavan exists at five levels one is at shri vaikuntha para para roopa highest form next is they say tirpar kadal or kshirabdhi wherein the highest form descends on to the let us say on to the material world for the sake of carrying out 
creation then vibhava he takes avataras and um, while taking avataras he makes himself available for seeing and touching and so on by other then archa archa means bhagavan out of saulabhya out of a a guna called as the saulabhya becomes very easy to approach he takes forms in in uh, in uh, say stones wooden blocks and so on even shalagrama is an archa avatara archa murti so this is for us to approach him on a daily basis appreciate his beauty make those objects as our own objects of meditation we should it's like having a personal murti of bhagwan at home in fact uh, my acharyas uh, kalakshep acharyas uh, periyappa shrimat aigeshinger uh, 43rd pontiff of ahogulamat devanar lag maishinger he was a great landlord before taking up sanyasa he was a great landlord in his kuru ashrama as a stout any of the stout shri vaishnava he would also have in their big farm house they used to have a separate puja room as the shape permal ul in tamil the acharya would read out to bhagavan to his personal deity to his personal murti what expenses and income happened on a particular day on a daily basis so it is like communicating with our own murti on a daily basis so we feel attached to the murti so bhagavan with out of saulabhya he binds himself into these archa murtis and accepts whatever we offer however howsoever our kaingarya be he accepts without any complaints not like us when we at home we know how we behave at home why don't you make this why don't you make this nothing to eat today in in spite of making something this thing we say nothing to eat because i don't like it but bhagavan what he does is he accepts whatever is being given by the archaka or by the bhakta so the purpose of doing this blemishless and eternal kankarya is to experience <coughs> bhagavan to be in bhagavad anubhava and bhagavata anubhava with what in the mind what kind of a mentality tvat sheshatve steradiyam because we are shesha bhuta to bhagavan tvat sheshatva sheshaha means subservient subordinate sheshatva means the nature of being a subordinate tvat plus sheshatve has become tvatche satve because of sandhi in sanskrit sha has become chha tvatche satve stiradhyam means i should i should have a firm mind a firm resolution in what in being your subordinate so that means swarupa i know i have realized uh, that i am your shesha bhuta but mind being worse than a monkey while hanging on to thought processes i may forget so make that bhava stronger in me steady in me i want that resolution that which is very firmly placed in the fact that i am your subordinate so with this in mind and with the goal of enjoying yourself experiencing yourself make me a eternal kaintarya para to your divine feet and to your bhagavatas without me involving or indulging in prohibited and desire based activities so this is the essence of this padya let me read the anvaya anvaya means the prose order we put the words in the right place so as to make a meaningful sentence in poetry there is a restriction a verb can precede a noun a noun can come at the end 
it's uh, it's left to the poet's uh, fancy and imagination but when we have to make some sense out of the poem we need to assemble reassemble all the words in such a format that it becomes logical statement tvatsheshatve sthiradhiyam tvatpraptyeka prayojanam maam nishiddha kamyarahitam nitya kinkaram kuru it could also mean that i am already having a firm conviction or i'm 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 perfectly convinced that i am your subordinate and now i want to only experience you that myself i am like this make me your nitya kinkara para kinkariya para like this ha huh? as an extension as an individual jeevatma it is always dependent on the paramatma so we can always say make me like this so that i become a nitya kinkara i become a nitya kinkariya para such is the prayer that a prapanna should repeat every day so that this becomes firmly placed in his mind tvatsheshatve sthiradhiyam tatpratyeka prayojanam nishiddha kamya rahitam kurumam nitya kinkaram make me like this Uh, let us uh, look at the meaning of the next verse devi bhushana hetyadi in the next recording shimate nigamanta mahadeshika namaha shri gurubhyo namaha